Good morning, everybody. Beautiful Abbotsford, British Columbia. It's December now. What day is it, Rob? I think it's the 5th. December 5th. And I just wanted to do a quick video on my soaking process of wheatgrass. Um, this is my method of wheatgrass. I find it it's very effective. I've done a lot of research on the wheatgrass method and I actually have implemented it with my peas as well now. But we're going to start over here on this. Here is my distilled water. The first part of my wheatgrass soaking is a 10 to 15 minute soak in a 3% hydrogen peroxide mix. I use 35, sorry, 35% hydrogen peroxide. I mix eight, 10 ounces of distilled water and one ounce of the hydrogen peroxide and I pour it into my wheatgrass and that sterilizes the seeds and it kills any pathogens that might be on the seeds. Um, I have to rinse that off after 10 to 15 minutes because the hydrogen peroxide can damage your seeds if it's left on too long. So I'm going to flip the water sideways. I just had it up like this because I wanted you to see that it was distilled water. And I take my handy dandy one cup measuring cup. It has faded but it is an eight ounce cup. And I pour in the water up to the mark. Then I take, I'm just going to slide this back so you can see what I'm doing. On my measuring cup here I have an ounce. This is a two ounce measuring cup and that line is my one ounce. <clears throat> I take my hydrogen peroxide. You should wear gloves with this because this will burn your skin. Um, it doesn't burn it but you'll find that you have white all over your hands and you'll have a very tingly sensation on your hands and you should wash that off immediately if you get it on your skin. Um, I'm a little brave so <laughs> I don't wear gloves all the time. I sometimes forget. Okay so then I carefully pour it into my measure. There's one ounce. <clears throat> if you can see it's up to the one ounce. If you get a little bit more like a fraction more, it's not a big deal. And then I pour that into my eight ounces. And because this is a two ounce cup, I then take it, rinse it out with some distilled water, pour that in. And then I pour that into my wheatgrass. I give it a mix. And you can sit back and watch it bubble because it will start to bubble. That's the hydrogen peroxide going to work. Give it a little bit of a mix again. And it'll start to bubble more and more and more. And at this point I set a timer so that I don't forget to come back to it because I do get busy. You can see it's starting to bubble now. I'm just going to check the time. Rob will talk to you for a minute. So yeah, anyways, we sanitize all of our seeds. Even though they're organic, we still like to eliminate any chances of salmonella or any other uh, pathogens that might be on the seed. Um, you never know unless you pick them yourself. So we always try and go on the safe route. But yeah, you can see I'm starting to bubble. And Sandra's back now. If you look closely at the bottom of the glass, Get some light in behind it. You can see the hydrogen peroxide is actually lifting the wheatgrass up and it's bubbling away underneath there. So again that's three parts, or sorry, 11 parts. Um, it's 10 ounces of distilled water to one ounce of hydrogen peroxide. The reason I use distilled water is because our tap water has other chemicals in it. 
and the hydrogen peroxide actually can react to the other chemicals. It, re it won't really hurt your plants, but it is wise not to use it. Um, if you can see the action going on down at the bottom now, that's the hydrogen peroxide going to work in there big time. And um, in 10 to 15 minutes, I will drain and rinse this. We will be back with a part two to show you the drain and rinse process. And we'll see you soon.